And the first 45 minutes, you know, um, the Bureau was not in impressed, my Hot Topics Bureau. But then all of a sudden, they were impressed because it seemed like she was playing out lyrics implying Jay-Z cheated. And she said things like, he only wanted me, want, want me when I'm not there. Um, and he better call Becky with the good hair. Well, people are thinking the Becky that he's reporting about or she's reporting about is that fashion designer, Rachel Roy. Oh. The woman who... <laughs> reportedly was at the center of the elevator fight. Um, and Rachel added fuel to the fire by posting um, a caption talking about good hair, don't care on her social media. Now, Rachel Roy, why are you even, wow, we just showed the most beautiful co-host of the day. Oh, what, did you see? Oh, you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, yes, yes. 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 That is how you do it. <laughs> um, anyway, so um, Rachel Roy, you, you, first of all, you're not this fighting girl unless you're on Beyonce and Jay-Z's payroll and they paid you to mix it up. Believe it or not, but Jay-Z wasn't always too loyal to Beyonce. He definitely had a life outside of Queen Bee. I'm not a fan of things that project false things as well as disrespect someone's character. I don't get down like that. Um, I don't appreciate that. And you just, you have to pray for people that will do anything for numbers, ratings, a song, or popularity. And I don't support certain things, so yes, I did reject. I mean, that came out a while ago. Were you upset when that song came out? song well I didn't even hear the song I heard about it so I had to go inspect it yeah you know my father and I sat in a room at Violator when Chris Lighty was managing a particular artist and that artist interrupted my meeting and my father was in the room you know so we cleared out the air and the confession was made on the other person's part that yes they lied but if that will ever come out from the person's mouth who knows? Who cares? I've addressed it. Maya, who has been in the entertainment business for a long time, is still single, charming, and free. And she symbolizes independence and confidence and knows how to put the media in its place. Well, you can't believe everything that you read. Yeah. Because that's not what I said. Mm -hmm. What I said was I feel empowered yeah. talking to people all walks of life. Mm -hmm. And that includes the gay community abused women, broken teens, you know, strippers, a lot of people that have been criticized and judged. And when I hear backstories, it can be empowering for the abused woman that, you know, takes matters into her own hands and finds liberation and independency in um, a job that allows her to take care of herself so that she can leave a situation that is not healthy for her. So yes, in that circumstance, it can be empowering for you not to have to succumb or surrender to some bullshit that you don't deserve because of finances. So I've learned that by just sitting down and listening to people's stories. You know, I'm not, what I'm not saying, what I have not said was taking your clothes off is empowering which the media will spin. I said women are beautiful, whether they are fully clothed or not. From every facet, whether that be the mind, the heart, the body, the soul. You know, there's many different components to an individual versus just the flesh. But as you know, you have to be very careful what you say, you know. And yes, it can be empowering in different circumstances. But even the toughest of people can lose themselves along the way when it's them versus the Hollywood elites. I would definitely have to say those in power, you know, that want to abuse it and, and get off on abusing it, definitely 
plot on their prey. You know? And you have to be willing to sacrifice anything that you think you might benefit from, a career, etc., and say no, period. And even though there have been ongoing allegations that she is romantically involved with some of the musicians she has worked with, she has chosen to keep her dignity and concentrate on her work. You know, I can't say that all women are treated unfairly, disrespectfully, but I can say that that happens all over the world in every or any industry, in any circumstances, whether it be personal relationships, in business, et cetera, you know. You must protect your space, but you don't necessarily know what the agenda is behind someone speaking down to you, uh, at you, et cetera. There are horrible things that happen every day, whether it be in the industry or not, mentally, yeah. emotionally, sexually, financially. And you have to break down your value. You really have to assess that and your standards. And it's very difficult if you don't know it, if you can't identify it regarding what's coming at you. Um, and that takes some time to maybe step away if you walked into this game, not knowing who you are and your limitations, you know. There can be power plays and ultimatums given for the people that hold the power whether that be toward a female or male artist. Mm -hmm. You know, I often find that a lot of women that I speak to suffer from that, you know, but you really have to, <clears throat> you really have to protect, you know, what you allow yourself to believe because it will be fed, whether it be your body image, what you need to change about yourself, how you need to sound, what you need to look like, how you need to dress, who you need to date, what you need to say. You grow into that. If you start early in any game without knowing who you are and being solid in some type of foundation, it's, it's very dangerous. You have to not be des desperate. You have to be willing to say, I'm good, fuck you, and walk away, you know? But if <clears throat> contractually, if contractually you have no options, that's a living hell. You know, um, I find it horrific to have to be buying the negative energies. It's unfair, whether you're a male or female. Maya has recently disclosed several difficulties she has encountered, including claims that Jay-Z's shady approaches toward her had a detrimental effect on her career. Here's everything you need to know. Just recently, Maya has bravely stepped up, claiming that she suffered consequences in her career as a result of her failure to comply with unreasonable requests by the 99 Problems rapper. You know, I don't, I don't like to make excuses like that. I don't like to be bitter. I know what I feel, and when I feel negativity, and when I feel bullshit, and when I feel ultimatums coming my way, I gotta, I gotta maneuver elsewhere, you know? So I just, I don't give it the time of day to say, oh, I was blackballed, oh, you know? It's because of you that I, no, I don't make excuses. I just know what doesn't feel good and I just don't work with those entities and I just don't work with those energies or allow them in my life, you know? So, independent has been a blessing for me. Um, yeah. Not to diss any entity because guess what? The major label system is beautiful. There are some, there are some people, <laughs> not everyone, that have huge egos, you know? and awful mindsets towards men, towards women, towards people. And it's very difficult to be around. It's just very difficult. And the way they mm -hmm. define success is not your idea of success. So you have to step outside of your box, which is why I named um, my label Planet Nine. It's the furthest from Earth. <laughs> I mm -hmm. have had to create my own rules, my own standards to live by, you know, and do things in my own time. You know, my planet might not necessarily rotate around the sun 365 days. It might take me seven years to do something in my own time. 
versus one earth year. But I have to, I have to put myself in a completely different world and environment just to function and stay good, stay alive. Maya and Jay-Z first met in the early 2000s when Maya's label asked for help on Best of Me Part 2, a Trackmasters produced song, but things didn't quite go as planned on their first meeting. According to several media reports, producer Tone claims that when Jay-Z first met Maya at the Hit Factory studio, he was turned off by her attitude. Tone recalled Jay-Z's assessment, characterizing Maya as seeming a little dismissive or lacking respect for the chance that was given to her. There was apparently a brief falling out as a result, and Jay-Z left the studio in annoyance. Interestingly, Jay-Z came back later to finish the song, and things seemed to diffuse as Maya became friendlier and more approachable. But when asked about it later on, Maya said she did that just to get through the recording and never have to meet the rapper again. How did you say so guarded within your career? This is what I did. I said, no, I'm good, thank you. No, thank you. Okay, so sometimes that doesn't translate as far as what you are allowed to have what you have access to, you will be blackballed, you will be talked about, you will be shitted on, you will be rumored about, but you have to stand strong on what you don't care for. It's not that serious to me, you know, if I have to sell my soul. And people will tr still try to manipulate, you know, the perception of you regardless. But as long as you can go to bed at night and look in the mirror and be happy and say, thank God, you know, I've been kept. I'm still solid on who I am as a person. I understand that I might have sacrificed something in the physical world, but the spiritual world is not worth it. You're okay. You don't need to do anything. What you need to do is protect every part of your life, your spirit especially because everything else is connected to that, you know? And I have people to take care of, so I don't have time to play games, time to be on drugs, time to be on alcohol, you know? Trying to put a Band-Aid over stuff that I can't live with. So my best bet is to empower yourself, get educated, and um, try to make it happen. It may be a process, but no person deserves to have an ultimatum over them. Yeah for fame or for glory, because it's not. But then, years later, there were rumors that Jay-Z and Maya had an affair, even though Jay-Z was married to Beyonce. Now, since Jay-Z had admitted to being unfaithful to Beyonce during their marriage, there was more reason for these stories to spread. But Maya quickly refuted these allegations on social media and denied having had an affair. Did you hear Beyonce overnight? No, what happened? She released all of this stuff you know, accusing Jay-Z of cheating. Oh, that's awful. I know, right? Um, do you think that Beyonce would do that for publicity or maybe she genuinely feels it? Well, I can't really speak on you know, what another person does, but art is art. And it's definitely an expression of self, often truth. Often truth, you think? Because... It can be. It's free therapy. <laughs> Because in the past, of course, you've been accused of similar things. Well, that's what you sign up for when you enter the business. Absolutely. But it must be hard dealing with all the beehive coming at you. I don't have anybody coming at me. <laughs> but I know what I'm not guilty of. Uh, of course, of course. But do you think Beyonce might say things or sing things just to stir up publicity for a new album? Or I can't really speak on what other people do. You know, art is art. I guess they're to each his own. If it's a real place, then that's how you do it. If you are a recording artist, if you're an artist, etc., you have to have some type of release, and that's what music is about. If it's your truth, speak on it. Do you right. think he's, he's capable of such things? Any man is capable of such things. <laughs> oh, no. Over the years, Maya has been steadfast in her denial of any romantic contact between her and the rapper, even as Jay-Z's public admission of his marital cheating has sparked conjecture about the identity of the other party. Of course, Maya has also experienced extreme highs and lows, as well as ongoing pressure to fit in during her time in the music industry. Her father supervised her at first, but after her parents divorced, she was left to fend for herself under outside supervision. But Maya refused to follow the whims of the industry, particularly when it came to her romantic life. I never addressed the public about it. I addressed 
fans that want to know. So I don't make statements for controversy and press and all of that stuff. I answer my fans that may generally, genuinely be concerned and have a question. But you have to understand, and that was also a lesson to me, that anything you do say gets snapshotted, you know, retweeted, yeah. and everyone is all over it, whether it be <laughs> whether it be television, blogs, whatever, you know, and you don't necessarily owe anyone an explanation, but fans that follow want to know, you know, and I think it's important when it comes to your character not to shy away from it. It's okay to tell the truth. You know, and it's okay to give somebody a run for their money if they're disrespecting you, especially when you're a female, you know? Yeah. Because we're often taught not to. And it's just self-protection. And you can't avoid a lot of things, but you do have a voice. And I don't like beating a dead horse. I don't like coming across as me trying to defend myself and come across as innocent, but people get carried away. Maya refused to go along with the constant advice from managers and publicists to date other musicians just to get attention. According to the singer, she was not going to allow her profession to become a show driven by phony relationships. For her, real relationships were more important than stage drama. I'm in a business that comes with a lot of bullshit. <laughs> if you sign up to be an entertainer, you have to realize that many things are going to be said about you. Yeah. If you exist as a human being in this world, and especially in this world with social media, you know, you're going to be talked about. If you have any type of platform to have a voice. Um, females, yeah, if you have any type of sensuality, sex appeal, or not, you can still get talked about and linked to people that you have never even met, you know? And it is what it is, it comes with the territory. So it really doesn't bother me, you know. If you're in a relationship, it can get a little strange because you have to constantly defend yourself and explain yourself for what really doesn't have to be explained, you know, because it doesn't exist and it never existed. But that's the only thing that I can think of. You get used to it. Maya also stated clearly that her priorities were sincere relationships and true love, not some sort of marketing gimmick. She had no desire to play the game according to someone else's guidelines, especially if it meant the other person was Jay-Z. And obviously, that meant breaking off relationships with publicists and managers who didn't share her values, not to mention the circus of reporters she had to deal with. Maya was unreserved in her criticism of the false information and unfounded gossip spread by claimed sources. She was not going to allow anyone to damage her reputation in the name of ratings and clicks, and so has taken to her social media several times to set the record straight. Moving forward, Maya has also remained unfazed even in the face of unfounded allegations from people like The Game and 50 Cent. She made it clear to them that she wasn't going to put up with their nonsense by declining to respond to their assertions. However, Maya's troubles didn't end there. Not too long ago, Maya got into a fight with her record company, Interscope Records, after the release of her third album. Even though she was working on her fourth album with the label at the time, she decided to break things off with them since she was unhappy with the path of her career under their management. Maya then joined the Universal M-Town Records, hoping for a new beginning in her career as a musician. Her tenure with Universal Memtown Records, though, didn't go as planned. Her fourth album, named Liberation, was highly anticipated, but the label mismanaged its advertising. The album's release was hampered by delays, and to make matters worse, it was accidentally leaked in Japan. And even though the specifics of the leak are still unknown, the consequences were evident. Maya's record was released ahead of schedule worldwide, negatively impacting her working relationship with the label. Many fans even believe that Jay-Z must have had something to do with her entire album getting leaked like that. After all, who else could have such influence? That's all for today. Do share your thoughts in the comments below. For more updates, hit the bell icon. 